I'm enlarging the viewfinder 14 times. Four different 50mm lenses are tested using in-body image stabilization, or IBIS, on OM system OM1. Two of them are adapted, one is native, and one is a manual lens. Can you guess which is which? You are watching Metabone's official video channel. Metabones is the bridge between cameras and lenses of different brands. Here is straight from the horse's mouth. I am Bo Ming Tong, CTO of Metabones. At a minimum, the camera needs to know the focal length of the lens to work. With a fully manual lens, we need to register the focal length with the camera body. When a speed booster is used, multiply the focal length by 0.7 or 0.64 first. Knowing only the focal length will enable three axis IBIS, pitch, yaw, and roll. Roll is an IBIS exclusive. You can't do roll with optical image stabilization or OIS. In the 50 mm test, the Suiko Auto S 50 mm f1.8 is behind because only three axes are used, whereas both the adapter lenses and the native lens get the full benefit of five axes. So what else is needed? Distance is required, and also some information about the optical formula needs to be described to the camera. We made some breakthroughs with regard to the latter and released new firmware version 4.60. If you have any of our EFMFT speed booster or smart adapter, go to metabones.com to download the latest firmware. Even your original EFMFT speed booster from more than 10 years ago can be updated to the latest version. I want to highlight the fact that Canon EF 50mm f1.4 USM is an older design which does not support distance information. It does not report focus distance to the camera. Latest Metabones firmware nevertheless deduces enough information to tell the camera so that 5-axis works when the lens is set to autofocus. If the auto lens is switched to manual focus, the adapter will have zero clue as to what the focus distance is, and IBIS will fall back to 3-axis. This is not something that most users need to worry about because almost all Canon lenses introduced in the last 30 years report distance information and therefore 5 axis will work in both autofocus and manual focus modes. I am severing the electronic communication by partially dismounting this Sigma 135mm f1.8 arch lens so that it loses electrical contact. Now I have to manually dial in its focal length to get IBIS. This way, we can discern the difference between 5-axis and 3-axis. Third-party lenses or lenses which are not Canon brand will get at least 3-axis IBIS, but some of them may not be able to fully reach the full potential of 5-axis IBIS. The reason is that brands like Tamron or even Zeiss ZE are not able to reverse engineer the Canon EF mount communication protocol adequately, and they report inaccurate or wrong data sometimes about the optical formula of the lens. Canon brand lenses, of course, implement the Canon EF protocol correctly and accurately. Sigma Global Vision, in other words, their art contemporary and sport series, are also very good. They are close enough that Metabones is able to support 5-axis at almost the same level as Canon brand lenses. However, if your Sigma lens is in the 012 or 013 model year, you may need to update its lens firmware to version 2 or above. I think any 015 or later is up to date for the purpose of 5-axis IBIS, 
But since Michael Forthert's plus the Sigma 18 to 35 mm f1.8 art 013 is such a trusted standard setup, this may impact users who bought toward the beginning of the latter's production run. Version 1 performance is still much better than 3 axis, but if you have a Sigma dock, upgrade to your lens firmware to V2. If you have a Tamron, even though no Tamron lens reaches full 5 axis potential because of the inaccurate lens better data they return, Metabones is still able to get a level of performance from them that is much better than 3 axis. Metabones operates on a fundamentally different principle from most other adapters. It queries the lens for information, does some hefty calculations, and reports the result to the camera in the format the camera expects. In other words, it is doing real translation between the two different languages spoken by the lens and the camera. As you use your lens normally at different zoom positions, Metabones learns about the lens optical characteristics, and when you turn your camera off, Metabones stores what it has learned in its memory and uses it the next time the camera turns on. Lens calibration is an optional procedure to speed up this learning process. Just zoom slowly across the entire zoom range and turn off the camera. That's it. The lens metadata collected is used for autofocus, especially PDAF, IBIS, exposure, pretty much everything. Canon EF 100mm f 2.8 LIS micro USM. One of them is using optical image stabilization and the other is using in-body image stabilization. Guess which is which and answer in the comments. Whether it's A or B, make your guess.